welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in my six-year-old's room and I am going to show you how we put together a capsule wardrobe for him for spring and summer. So we have struggled a lot in our family with trying to keep the amount of kids clothing in this house to a decent and minimal level. And so this year, moving into spring and summer, I decided to build a capsule wardrobe for each of my kids. And today I wanna share with you what we decided on for my six-year-old and just give you some tips for building your own child's capsule wardrobe. So the first thing I wanna say is that some of the reasons that we decided to do this was just ease. I found that I was shopping, buying a lot of outfits that were already like pre-matched or, you know, going to Gymboree and kind of buying stuff that had like a certain color in it and matched a certain pair of shorts. But then I never really found anything else to match those shorts. So it kind of became that that one outfit could be worn together, but neither piece really matched anything else in his wardrobe. Or I had a couple of shirts that went with you know, a pair of brown shorts, but nothing else that really matched them. He also had way, way too many clothes. And we really just wanted to pare down, simplify his closet, make it easier for him to choose what he was going to wear, you know, lower the amount that we were spending on his clothes and just make it, you know, a simpler thing all around. So I am gonna show you what we chose for him we do live in the north, so it is going to be winter-ish weather um, for a few more weeks here. So he'll probably use this wardrobe from the beginning of April till about mid to late September when I kind of get him a fall wardrobe. You'll also see in the video that some of these pieces are going to need to be replaced. I kind of pulled them out as something that like he, I would like for him to have this many athletic pieces and um, some of them are maybe going to be a little bit too small. Now building a capsule wardrobe for your child, you can do that. You know what they have if they only have five or six pairs of shorts or bottoms you know that they already have navy shorts and you can if you see something at the thrift store at goodwill on the clearance rack you can pick that item up knowing that they already have something at home to match it and i had no idea whenever he had a ton of clothes i actually have a video from probably about two years ago um, from the first time I was I, I post was posting on YouTube um, of his closet organization and it is insane looking back at the progress from where we were to where his wardrobe is at now I'm I'm way happier with it and I think it's a way better fit for our family so let me show you what we chose for him Okay, so I have picked pieces that are somewhat neutral for the bottom. So I have a pair of plain front cat, like grayish shorts and it goes really nicely with quite a few of the shirts that we have in his wardrobe. So I love shirts like this. This one is from Old Navy. And it is one of the shirts that you roll up at the sleeves so he could wear it on cooler summer days with a pair of shorts or you can make it long sleeved and he can wear it with a pair of khaki dress pants or a pair of jeans to church or out for a nice dinner. Now I also have a short sleeve button up to go with the gray shorts and this sweet little striped shirt from Target this year. I believe it was like $4.50. It's the Cat and Jack brand. And so there's three. These three items can also be mi mixed and matched with some of the other bottoms I have. So the next thing I got were these black and gray plaid shorts. Now I would normally say steer clear of any type of like printed shorts if you're trying to minimize your child's wardrobe. But these ones went with a couple of shirts that we had. He has this black polo from Old Navy that he could easily wear that outfit to church. And to dress it down, there is this, like, I don't know, it's a two-tone Cat and Jack brand from Target. And I'm really in love with this shirt. I just hope the white lasts. Putting it on a six-year-old boy, you know, you never know. <laughs> I also chose some navy bottoms for him and it goes with two of the shirts that we had, um, the orange chaps 
you know, more like a dressy shirt. These are nice dinner shirts, you know, um, or dressing up for church. And then there is a gap, this lime and navy gap shirt that it goes really nice with. I love the pocket there. I also think that these navy shorts could go with some of the other shirts over in the gray area. Um, I think you could pair it with the old navy shirt or the striped shirt, the striped cat and jack shirt. I love a pair of like, these are like that kind of like windy, I don't know. You know the material I'm talking about, moms. And cargo shorts. So these ones are easy to pair with a t-shirt like I did here with this Quicksilver. My husband really likes Quicksilver and like Hurley stuff. So we saw that and picked that up for him. And it also can be dressed up with one of these Ralph Lauren polos. So I really think also that the khaki shorts in particular could go with so many of the other items. I also chose a few athletic outfits for him. Him and his brother both are huge Under Armour fans. And these are actually the outfits that are going to be replaced. So right now he has this teal and, you know, this teal and navy with lime Under Armour outfit. He is going to get a new one from my mom for Easter and I asked her to buy something a little bit more neutral so we could do more tops with bottoms, you know, and he's probably gonna have more than just the three shirts. But, um, you know, an outfit like this, it's great for the park, great for them running and playing. We do a lot of bike rides and outside activities. And for us, athletic outfits are definitely a must. I also chose a black, and gray neutral Under Armour short and he had two Under Armour shirts that matched those shorts in his wardrobe already. Um, I will add that most of these clothes were not bought new this year. Most of these are hand-me-downs from my older son that I was able to just kind of go through, picked what I loved, I sold or donated the rest of the stuff that just didn't match anything or I didn't really, you know, love any longer. So these this outfit will probably stay. Both of these shirts still fit him as well as the shorts. But this one over here, we're probably going to switch out for a pair of more neutral shorts with two tops since this one's getting a little bit small on him. So right there, guys, I mean, that is a ton of outfits with very few pieces of clothing. Now, since we are in the north, I do need to have some hoodies. I have this kind of casual light Nike jacket for him that I got on clearance for about $12 at Marshall's. And then I have this Serco brand. It was from my older son, so they probably don't sell it anymore. Little zip up that I think looks really cute if you pair it with a polo shirt underneath it. You can dress it up or you can dress it down. Now I also chose three pairs of pants since we will wear pants probably until mid-May around here, at least every so often. Um, I don't know why these are looking so odd on camera, but a pair of khaki pants, a pair of jeans, and a pair of, th of athletic pants, you can really make tons of combinations with the shirts and these pants. So I'm going to insert some pictures here of how I kind of paired these different pieces together. As far as shoes are concerned, and I did include these in the item amount. Again, this is like 26 pieces to build the wardrobe. I got him a pair of Nike tennis shoes. These are a bit on the expensive side, but they last and he wears tennis shoes all the time. These little flip-flops from Old Navy were 47 cents. And so I picked those up on clearance like midwinter and they'll be great for sticking on with some of the athletic outfits, even some of the, you know, more casual outfits and, or at the pool. I also got him, I apparently like black and lime. He's a, a kid that really likes lime, so it makes sense. That's normally what he picks. I got him a pair of Crocs. These were an additional 50% off of $14.98, which was an amazing deal for some Crocs. So he got those. The only other pair of shoes I'm going to be getting him are a pair of either Toms or Sperry's or possibly a pair of brown 
sandals. I'm not exactly sure yet which I'm going to go with. My guess is that I'm probably going to do a pair of Toms so that he has, you know, shoes to go, a nicer pair of shoes to go with his dress outfits. That is one thing we're missing here. Okay, guys, so that is my son's capsule wardrobe for this spring and summer. This was using 26 items, including the shoes, and you can make a ton of combinations. Really, it's endless. I will say that we do have to add in a couple more things, the shoes and athletic wear that I did mention, and he's also gonna need a few swimsuits. Besides that, he does have a bin of play clothes. When we're at the dirt bike track, at my parents' house, playing outside on a Saturday afternoon and he's getting filthy, we do have them wear some play clothes rather than wear any of these items. And those are mostly like raggedy old hand-me-downs, stuff I got for a quarter at a yard sale, or things that I showed you that they get stained and I can't get them out, or you know they're ripped or torn or really worn out. So, so those are the pieces he's going to have for spring and summer. If you are working on your child's capsule wardrobe or minimalizing their closet, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye. <music>